my uh things are so confusing right now i was talking with a friend of mine and she has a home daycare and she got COVID. No, no. and another friend of mine has a daycare too and they both got COVID at the same time and my other friend her whole family got it so you know it's crazy Zing. So when you do something, so when you do something in this house, they act up. Okay, Zane, stop. Okay, Olivia, go play, please, with him. Oh my God, it's so hard to do things with two kids. It's crazy. Uh, getting back to why I'm doing this video. Okay, I trust that. Because the government is putting out mixed messages, saying that. If you're double vaccinated, that you just have to, and you get COVID, you just have to go on 10 days rest and then reopen in 10 days without doing another COVID test. And I, I, like I said to my friend, I go, you're supposed to do three tests to make sure that three times it's negative. She goes, no, government protocol is if you're vaccinated twice, 10 days, and you can go back to work. And now... Uh, she's reopening and that's the scary part because I didn't put my son in daycare and that uh, I took him out a week before Christmas and now uh, he was supposed to go back January 3rd and I didn't bring him back because I don't want him to get COVID there's one case in the daycare already and so now they say from January 5th to January 19th, if there's no more cases of COVID to stop a I public outbreak. But what happened when government well employees too. from oh, these daycares yeah. that are vaccinated, that do get COVID, they can go back to work 10 days after that and then get COVID. <coughs> like pass on COVID to other kids, you know, because they're not getting retested. If this is what the government is saying, no wonder why we're we're the way we the way we are, you know, because it's it's crazy. All the mixed messages that are being received, you know, it's the patients that are actually educating the doctors, not the other way around. They're learning on patients, and the patients are telling them, "I'm not feeling well." I just seen a video last night of this educated black woman and she is a doctor and she goes i'm not feeling well she's getting tested for COVID. it's negative keeps on coming back Please negative i'm not feeling well one year and finally they diagnose no! her with COVID. and they're all heart she's having heart issues she's having lung issues they're testing her and that this one nurse walked up to her and said you don't have COVID," and took off her mask it's like what and she and then when she did she goes you have blood clots in your brain that's what you have and she went for the uh, mri came back all the doctors and the nurses are now wearing masks with her why because she doesn't have blood clots it turns out she has covid uh, unknowingly, like she went away. She was on the last plane coming back from uh, Amsterdam. No, she went to Amsterdam and then she was in Paris. And what happened was she was on the last plane coming back into Canada with this. So you know what? It was a couple of people on the plane coughing with her. Uh, she also said that on the plane there was a... Uh, uh, protective equipment. The, uh, I can't even think in that, what the word is about for the special mask. P P P P E, you know, something like that. And what happened was, none of the flight attendants, none of the crew were wearing the mask. The person who was coughing wasn't wearing a mask. There was only three people on the plane that were actually wearing masks. She didn't have a mask, and she got it. But the doctors did not believe her that she had COVID. Her, in her family, there's a lot genuinely. And her grandmother ended up getting it and dying of COVID. 
It took a year for her to be diagnosed. So, you know, right now, we, we don't know what's going on. We're learning. We're learning. And how many mistakes are, gonna, are we going to make? And who's going to be the victim of our mistakes? Everybody has to smarten up and listen. Protect yourself, protect your family, wear a mask, stay in as much as possible. If you can't, then you're playing Russian roulette. When is your time? See, right now, I'm supposed to take my son back to daycare on Monday, which is tomorrow. And I'm scared. I have to talk with the daycare, see if there's any more cases. And if there's any more cases, then he's staying home. He has speech therapy on Wednesday. And I don't know. Mommy, like right now, I don't know. Mommy. So right now, Mommy. the Indians are restless. Mommy. 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 Oh my God. I have to take them out. They've been in for three weeks. So the, the, rest, the Indians are really restless. And so I'm going to take them in the backyard. Let them play on the trampoline. And... Tomorrow, I have to call and speak to my data, find out what their protocol is when if someone becomes positive. Do they have to get retested? And are they allowed to go back without testing? Because if that's the case, I'm pulling my son out of daycare. He will not be returning. You know, I don't want COVID, and I don't want my family to have COVID. So, you know what? I'm all about the protection and doing my part. But if someone gets COVID and they don't give a fuck and they work in a daycare and they're looking after my child hell no trust me you don't want to deal with me trust me I'm a nut and if you're going to intentionally give my kid COVID trust me hell has no fury like a mother scorn you know I'm, I'm really upset with my friend and she doesn't understand because she thinks that her family already had COVID and I don't want to go into a depression. I want to work. Her insurance is not covering her. And it's all about money. People care about money. They don't care about people. So you know what? Until we start caring about each other, this is going to go on and go on and go on and go on until members of our family are dying and they're not going to be with us anymore. How many people are we going to lose? Don't we learn from our lessons seeing our, the numbers going up? Obviously, we don't. No. Because you know what? It's coming down to where people are forced to stay home. The government's not helping with uh, the, the CERB payments anymore. And you know what? People are taking chances going out working with COVID. Why? Because it's the government's fault. The government is not protecting us. They're taking our taxes. They want us to work, but they're not going to be protecting us. The government has to wake up and start doing their job because everybody's in danger because the few people that don't want to stop working. Yes, I understand you need money, you need to eat, you need to pay your bills, but protect the public. If you do not protect the public, this is going to go on and go on and go on. The government needs to start paying out again. Or otherwise, a large population of the people are going to die. Mainly, our children. And as a mother, I'm not going to let my child die. And there's no way. So I have to end this video because Miss Olivia is taking a shit fit. So hit the subscribe button and we're stronger together and tomorrow i'm gonna call premier Legault's office about my embryos being stolen let's see what's being done they had sufficient time all right bye